Have you ever played a game of darts blindfolded? You know, like hitting the bullseye is as likely as a unicorn presenting you with a winning lottery ticket, which I guess actually happened to somebody this last week, like 1.7 billion or something. Yeah, so I suppose it can happen. But when it comes to business, we often blindfold ourselves and throw darts and hope to hit the client's needs. And spoiler alert, that doesn't normally work. Kind of like the millions of losing lottery tickets that happen every single week. I think Slack is a pretty good example of this. They didn't just make a product and toss it in the wind. They created a channel for customer feedback right in their own app. And that let them pivot and tweak in near real time. And when this last update rolled out, you know, some of you may have noticed they took away the ability to see multiple workspaces at the same time. Really dumb idea, by the way. And they got very fast and vocal feedback and then rolled out a fix pretty quick. So fast feedback and response loop. And they built a tool that fits for like a glove for millions of users, albeit incredibly frustrating to use it for two weeks, especially for you know, hundreds of thousands of power users. But can you imagine if there wasn't fast feedback and response? You know, it's like mutiny, churn, terrible stuff that none of us want. So how can we get this right? So step one is open dialogue. Close the monologue and embrace the dialogue. It's human to human bi-directional API. Ask questions, understand pain points, and listen more than you talk. You know, we have two ears and one mouth for a reason. Give your clients an easy way to give you direct feedback. And that becomes extremely critical the bigger the company gets. Direct, straight from the source, completely unfiltered in their own words. So not some surveys that go out, anything like that. What we want is to get as close to the source as possible. And if you can build that into your app, even better. Step two, we want to co-create, don't dictate. This isn't some crazy Shakespearean soliloquy where you're the only one on stage. Involve your clients in the process. You're crafting this masterpiece together. And yes, companies like Apple, they do a big tech conference and reveal their latest genius for consumers to ooh and all over. But the reality, we aren't them, <laughs> none of us. And the best SaaS companies work with their ideal clients to crowdsource, to upvote, to build what they want. And guess what? When you do that, others just like them want those same things too. It's a really good reason to specialize. Think vertical SaaS. Step three is iterative improvements. Collaboration, this isn't a one night stand, it is a long term relationship. And that's what we want with our clients anyway. Keep refining, keep tweaking, keep adapting. Think of it as a, a dance. There's that dance metaphor again, which I'm terrible at, but a dance where nobody wants to step on toes, but everybody wants to groove. I'd love to, I just can't. And, you know, I have to cut slack some, well, Slack, you know, because we've done the same thing where dev eliminates a feature. They think it is important or hide something to make the interface look cleaner. Um, but it's better not to do stuff that nobody asked for, or at least test your brilliant improvement with power users, but make it a collaboration a back and forth with your ideal clients. So who's ready to ditch the blindfolds and aim straight for what your clients truly need. Put down that random dart and pick up a scalpel. It's time for precision not for guesswork. Let's create collaborative wins that make everyone feel like an MVP. What do you say?